Hey everybody, I am Angela Petrilli here with Fishman today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys one of my favorite warm up exercises, the spider. Let's go ahead and check it out. So today I am using this Fender Stratocaster with the Fishman Fluence single with pickups. So let's go ahead and talk about the spider. I get a lot of questions about warm ups. What are the warm ups that I like to use when I'm playing before I go to play a show? This one is by and far my favorite. It's an easy one to get down and it takes a little time to get it right, but man, is it worth the effort. So this one is called the spider, okay? So there's a lot of really good left and right hand technique that we're gonna be talking about today with this exercise. And again, I want this to be a really successful exercise for you guys that you can incorporate in your playing. So what we're gonna do here is it looks and sounds like this. I'm just gonna play it on the first three strings. <laughs> So as you notice here, we're going up in half step increments on each string. We're gonna assign each finger a fret, all right? And we're gonna start at the first fret here. So with our left hand, first finger, we're gonna place that on the first string on the first fret, so that low E. Your second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, fourth finger, fourth fret, okay? Now, that's what we're gonna be doing with our left hand with our right hand, okay, we're gonna do here. So we're gonna alternate pick. So what does that mean? For the first note, we're gonna strike the top of the string. For the second note, we're gonna strike the bottom of the string. Notice how the pick is at the bottom of the string, strike up. We're gonna continue with this. Once we go to the third fret, we're gonna continue with that pattern. Top of the string, fourth fret, bottom of the string. All right, so let's just work on that E string here, nice and slowly. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. So, with this, I also want you to keep in mind thumb placement. Notice how you can't see my thumb when I'm doing this exercise. Thumb placement is very important here. Those of you what I want you to do, thumb in the middle of the neck. If our thumb is up too high, notice how our hand starts to get smaller, right? So by placing that thumb in the middle of the neck, it's gonna allow the hand to really expand and stretch and hit those strings the way we want to. Now, something else to keep in mind here when you're doing this, we don't wanna go right on top of the fret. It's gonna sound like, it's, it's, it's gonna buzz. We don't want that. See how it sounds thuddy, it's not clean. So we wanna get as close to the frets as we can without touching them. Notice how much cleaner that was, okay? So this is a really important thing. Those two things, keep those in mind. Thumb placement and making sure those fingertips get as close to the frets as we can without touching it. Now, with the fingers themselves, we don't wanna be flailing, right? We don't wanna be going all over the place. Do your best, okay? And this is the part that's gonna take a little time here. Do your best to hover on top of those strings, okay? So this is something we don't wanna do. This is what I mean by flailing. That we don't wanna do. We want to hover with those fingers here, because again, if we're flailing, it's gonna take us that much longer to get the note that we don't want. By hovering on top of those strings, we're gonna get those notes a lot quicker than if we flailed, okay? So again, watch how my hands, nice and expanded here, thumb in the middle of the neck. Fingers hovering over those strings, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead here to complete the exercise. We're gonna go in that fashion, first, second, third, fourth, down all six strings. So let's take our time here, here we go. With this, I absolutely want you to practice with the metronome. So you're gonna wanna go to each click. So if we're clicking, click, 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 we want those hits on that click. So click, 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 click. Wanna be right on that metronome. So this is an exercise 
really encourage you to practice with the metronome. Because again, not only are we working on our left and right hand technique with that alternate picking, right? Working on the stretches here with the left. We also want to work on our timing and our groove with that metronome. Okay, so something really, really important I want you guys to do. Once we do this forwards, we're going to go backwards. So from there, starting with the pinky, we're going to go four, three, two, one. All right, so let's do that again. Working our way up, let's just go until the G string here. So follow along. Okay, and remembering that alternate picking. All right, so let's go ahead, doing this again, starting from that fourth fret of the E string, all right, and working our way up. Don't forget the alternate picking. Don't forget thumb in the middle of the neck there, all right? Here we go. So once we've completed that sequence, we're just gonna move up a half step, now starting at the second fret. So let's go ahead and hear the whole thing forwards and backwards. Here we go. Now let's go ahead and go backwards. That's the spider. Again, if there's one thing I absolutely want you to do with this exercise, don't forget to use that metronome, all right? So again, my name is Angela Petrulli here with Fishman. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. So if you'd like to find out more, if you'd like tablature for this exercise, be sure to click the link below. It'll get you to the tab and a bunch of other cool stuff for these Fishman lessons.